All right, let's do a couple of things here. First of all, uh, let's look at background colors. It's hard to get backgrounds. They don't work very well. But um, if you um, if you go in here and you go to, um, just before it goes into GTK main, uh, main is mentioned twice here. Uh, just before you go in there, and there is my range for the scroll bar, as you notice, we um, I turned it back on. Um, declare something to be of type GDK color. I use the word color. And then you get to set the red, green, and the blue. You could also get set the alpha, the uh, transparency, but I don't know why that would be necessarily useful right now. Um, and I set it to be colors which are slightly bluer than gray. Um, that the blue here is only slightly larger than uh, the gray values. And then you run the function GTK widget modify background, or BG. And um, the casting was unnecessary because window already is a, is a widget. Uh, it was declared as a widget. And you pass down the address of the color. As a consequence, when you do that, you see a slightly bluer, looks a little more purple, but it's actually more blue uh, than the typical gray, if that's what you want. Okay, um, now we want to add some decorative frames uh, to these pages. I think they look better. You can do a lot of different things. But um, frames are up under... Um, under containers and where have they hidden frame um there it is whoops i don't mean to click it um inside the um inside the stack well it's hell bent on letting me oh, not letting me do that so i am going to go back up here and i'm going to drag it uh, in here okay um now i've got the frame um Okay, I've got two of them now. Um, get rid of the second one. I, it's a new feature. I don't know if I want to use the word feature. Uh, but anyway, we have the um, we have the frame. You can look at the hierarchy. Here's the stack. Here's page one. There's the checkbox. Uh, and then we have the frame. The frame is at the same level as the um, as a GTK fixed. All right. Uh, that being the case in terms of the frame, what I want to do is I want to make the frame a little bit larger. Um, and I want to make it a little bit taller. I'm down here in the right-hand corner if you lost track of things. Okay, um, in terms of general, we want to, let's call it um, frame one. Whoops, spelling. Not that it matters. Um, in terms of the packing, um, where do I want it to go? And it's going to go relative to the stack, so um, I'll just leave it there. I won't do the other one at the moment. Um, let's see. Um, the frame shadow. Uh, etched out, I think, is what I want. We'll find out if that's nice later later on. Um, in terms of the uh, the title that appears up here, that's actually a... Um, and that's actually a, a separate item. If you opened up the frame here, you can see it's got uh, the alignment and it's got the label. This is the label up here. And in the label, um, I'll just put nice frame one, whatever you want to put up there. Well, 17 too. All right, nice frame um, or nice frame seven, whatever. Um, you can put a title up here. All right, now we are back to this guy here. This is the uh, the alignment for the frame. I need to put another container, a GTK fixed in here, or I won't be able to uh, move things around. I won't be able to position them. So um, I go up to my check button here, make sure I am on the check button, and I, I grab it, or I control exit, and I go down to the fixed, which is part of the frame, and I add it. And it, uh, for some reason, loses its mind in terms of size and so forth. So now what have I got? I've got, I've got first of all, the stack. And at the, for the first page here, STKFXD1, I have a frame. Inside the frame, of course, um, I have a... Um, inside the, the frame, I've got a name down here, and I've got the actual alignment. Inside the frame, I've got GTK fixed. And inside of GTK fixed, I have the check button. Now the question is, uh, how does this align relative to the whole thing? Well, um, first of all, going back to the frame, let's move it closer to the top. Um, let's call. It, let's move it to position number four. And secondly, we probably want to make it wider. 
that we don't have to, but um, I'm going to make it correspond. Um, uh, okay, that's kind of okay. This is, this is where you're going to have to um, fuss around a bit in terms of the um, Y position. Uh, move it down a little bit, shift it over a little bit until you get it um, to be someplace relative to the frame that, uh, relative to the um, larger um, page that you like it at. This maybe could be moved a tiny bit. Um, tiny bit. Um, make sure you grab the right one frame. Um, so you move it two over that way. All right. Um, that's a lot of. Um, a lot of work, basically, but nonetheless, uh, that's what it. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Um, bring up the. Um, I don't have to compile it because it's entirely well. I better save it. <laughs> if you don't save it, I mean, you can sit here saying, "Why are none of my changes taking place?" Because you forgot to save them, and if they're not on the disk, of course, um, they're not going to work. Um, all right, there's the frame. And inside the frame is the uh, check button. Now, of course, you could populate the interior here with anything you want. You can make it bigger and so forth. But um, I don't have it, obviously, in the other ones, but I could have. And you can see there's my transition. And there you, the frame has got a, um, a boundary around it. It might make your... Um, it's not going to be the end of the world, but it does make it a little more um, well-organized, I think. So that's adding frames. Um, I'll kill this off and I'll go back over here. So once again, reviewing here, we've got the uh, the stack. Inside the stack, we have one, two, three, four pages. Inside of page one, I have a frame. Inside the frame, I have GTK fixed. Um, inside, um, well, in, in inside the in GTK fixed, I have the checkbox. I actually have a fixed up here. This uh, the STK FXB one, that's um, that, that's the first uh, that's the stack. But I have uh, several fixed in here, as you know. They're not. Um, that's what the pages actually are. They're fixed. So inside of the inside of the uh, first page, I have the frame. Inside of the frame, I have fixed. Inside the fixed, I've got um, a check button, and um, that all works and doesn't explode or anything. Um, so you could kind of migrate your things in here, and then as you as you switch them, um, thing it'll um, roll back and forth. And of course, um, the um, alignment we can how they go back and forth we we did before. All right, so that's that's a slight modification, and it also shows you how to um, how to do some background colors, which you can do at the window level. You can do the modify background in a for some things, but not for everything. All right.